like Alice in Chains? They're a good rock and roll band. Our youngest band. Have you seen that video? I don't know if I should say it. What the H E L L have I? You probably shouldn't say that. But you want to see that video, don't you? Pretty good video. Yeah. yeah. It's from the last action here. You know who Arnold Schwarzenegger is? Of course you do. Tell me a little bit about the video we're about to play. Oh, 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 oh. Back to you. So tell us about the video. What, do you, what, what can you now tell us? Is this your first uh, Alice in Chains video? Uh, actually, it is, yeah. So my first uh, recordings we did was the uh, last action here, all the two songs we did on that. And uh, it came out good. We just hung out and uh, drank way too much beer and, and uh, hung out. Is it also true that you don't know this young lady? You just picked her up and had her sit on your lap? Yeah, well... You know. Do you know this guy? Oh, you do? <laughs> okay. okay. Now, you're... You saw him on TV? All right. Well, tell me, um, you've been playing this song live at the Lollapalooza shows, right? Not that one. We play a little bitter. We will. We will. We will. We promise. Now, I, I heard the new one, the other one, which is, what's it called? A little bit. Uh, it's, it's a little bitter, Ricky. Kind of like how my shorts are feeling right now. This is <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go back over here. Do uh, you think you're going to be making a video for that one? Because it's a heavier song. Sure what we're going to do at this point. It's, uh, we're pretty busy with Lollapalooza, and we, we just barely fit the last one for the Arnold movie in, so, you know, we'll see how it goes, you know, hopefully. Okay, well, let's play What the Hell Have I. It's a new video, the latest one, and the first one with this gentleman in it from Allison Chains. Do you want us to play that video now? Yes. Okay, we'll play it. Say, on Headbangers Ball. Say, Headbangers Ball. Perfect. All right. Bangers Ball at Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey. This is a sure way to get in trouble. See this thing right here? Lane's gonna go fishing here. You're not supposed to do it. The funny thing is, go. The funny thing is that when he casts in, the fish, the fish are actually going for the... Oh, no, we got a fish! <laughs> this is, we've only been here about 15 minutes. I say, what are our odds of getting thrown out? I think it's, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Fishing in a place where we're not supposed to fish. Oh, no, <laughs> with a $20 thing. We'll be back with more Headbangers Ball coming from Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey, the biggest water park in the world. Ricky Rackman here. We're hanging out with Allison Chains. I guess uh, Jerry kind of wimped out. We're about to go down our first ride here at Action Park. It's called the Wild River. It's a... Uh, rafting thing that doesn't look very safe at all no, it doesn't look safe but look you've got your aqua wings in case anything happens i came prepared rick it's nice and it, it, sean just loves to come to these places and uh have people blow them this was your whole idea about this whole thing coming to this park and everything which was nice because i didn't really want to be in the studio today anyway i thought this was your idea rick i think somebody actually put the uh the thing on us and and the best part about it is we're filming this thing right now holding up a line. These people have been in line for about an hour and a half, and we're just taking our own sweet time, and they can't walk past us until we're done. So there's about 3,000 people that are very mad at us right now. So we're going to play a video, as opposed to the 4 million people that watch the show that are mad at me. So right now, let's go back to the countdown. Here is video number seven. We're going to grab a raft and go in the water. It's our kind of winding down summer show here tonight on the Headbangers Ball, hanging out with Alice in Chains. We're about to go down Wild River, and what are, tell us what we do now, Mike. We drown and uh, just fill up our lungs with fluid and just die. I like that. So we'll grab a raft and we'll let all these people that are really mad at us. Turn around, look at all these people. Look, look behind you. Come back here. They're all mad because we're holding up the line right now, so we're going to grab a raft. Let those people go. You're going to watch some videos. We'll be back. Headbangers Ball on location at Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey with Alice in Chains. Where's the raft, Rody? Somebody's supposed to grab our rafts for us, right? Park in New Jersey, Headbangers Ball on location with Allison Chains. 
Lane is in here stark naked, ladies and gentlemen. We've had to put the tubes on because he's running around frightening the children completely stark naked. We went down on our first ride. What do you think? Is this good? Because you've been real busy lately. Is this a good relaxation for you? I peed in the pool. I'm they sorry. like it when you do that. I peed in the pool. And see that thing over there? About two seconds ago, I did a pike with a double backflip. And what was that trick that you just did without the water wings? That was a double back flange, Rick. It was the flange. And you know what? The flange looked real good. And while you watch video number four, we're going to work on our flanges. And we're going to try to find Lane some clothes. Should we take another tube off? You want to see what he looks like? Let's take one off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for a quarter, you can see Lane naked. You can take a tube and see Lane naked. We're breaking things. Here's video number four. <laughs> Short hair. Me this time. I won. He pushed me into a pool last time. Come on. And he I falls won. on his butt right here. On but I did it well. Anyway, we well. were hanging out with Alice in Chains, and we're at Action Park in uh, Vernon, New Jersey. And we're and having I fun. Won. And I won. This is. <laughs> he looks faster than anybody else here, doesn't he? He looks yeah, faster. Yeah, what, is he tough, huh? Come on, we're at speed up. <laughs> <laughs> don't film down there. You don't want to see. That is sick. See his package. We'll be back with more Headbangers Ball coming from Action Park with Allison Chains. I won. I won. <laughs> Easy. I won. <laughs> Right at the top of Surf Hill, that man with the bright red hat, Lane Staley, lead vocalist of Alice in Chains, going quite fast as we go into video number one. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> and and you, you even got to see a little bit more than you probably wanted to see of Lane right there. <laughs> How do you feel, Lane? Didn't it clean out your system? Uh, you need a good colon cleanse and every once in a while. And everybody up there got to see a little bit more of Lane than they expected. Anyway, right now it's time for video number one on Countdown to the Ball. Hey, this is Mike Inez at uh, Surf Hill. In action, looks like Mr. Jerry Cantrell up front. Yes. Yes. Jerry, the undisputed Surf Hill champ. <laughs> oh, there's a controversy. There's a con got a controversy. Hey, 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 break it up, guys. Break it up. Hey, we're friends. We're friends. Here it comes. The accusation? What? Accusation? He cheated. Get out of here! I think I took it fair. Be a VJ. Read what video we're going to play now. Ah, lead to wood. Lead to wood. We're leading to wood now. We're leading to wood? We're going to wood. We're going to play wood right now. Bangers Ball on location at Action Park in New Jersey. These people here, they're not having any fun. They don't even know we're here filming. They just scream like this all the time. There's people dying out there. Listen, screams of terror. Listen. Screaming kids, they're dying. It's terrible. The sounds of torture. Listen. He caught. He caught a Jerry. He caught a Jerry. There's a drop right there. Hold on. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. Anyway, the Headbangers Ball, hanging out with Alice in Chains. This is one of those shows that you would sit at home and watch, and you go, God, it looks like those guys have so much fun, but it's work. We're working. We're not having any fun, are we? No, wait, so we're craftsmen. We're You're not having fun. This is work, isn't it? I just got hooked. What are you talking about? And here are screaming, drowning children. There's your fin. Anyway, there's even... Hey, 
the thing that's really funny is we just peed in that pool. We did. We peed in there. We'll be back with more Headbangers Ball coming to you from Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey. Stay tuned. For some reason, this whole thing has become sort of a challenge. We've still got this car racing thing and this uh, jungle challenge thing that uh, Jerry has challenged me to everyone. And right here, that's called the speed slide. It's over seven stories. They tell me that you go over 60 miles an hour. And you can see that Jerry and I will do it. Look at these guys. I'm doing it. Are you going to do it? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Lane will do it too. Now tell me. This kind of looks a little bit. Does it look a little bit scary? Well. I'm not really worried about the whole thing. I want to hunt you anything that I own, which is about fifty dollars. What he said was, "Yeah, it looks scary." So tell me, any uh, preparations as we're about to embark on the speed slide? Yeah, preparation H. I've got it on right now. Probably, from what I understand, when you hit the bottom of the water thing, it kind of cleans out your well, system. You got to, you got to clench, you got to clench the butt muscles. It's, it's really important for that, uh, unless you want that very enema, okay. which you will get. Now, who is going on this ride? Or which I of these guys? Idea, no, you? No. Mike? Lane's going. I'm going. Lane, okay. <laughs> Val, come here. we got to bring Val just for one second. Come on, Val. Get down there. Hopefully you saw this guy earlier, what he did to the ride, which uh, he wasn't supposed to go on, where he went flying up that thing, and uh, now <laughs> they're going to squeeze him down this thing. And they're going to rock him through like a billiard ball through a fire hose. How's that for an analogy? Is that a good analogy? That's a pretty good analogy. How about a nugget through a... Okay, thank you. Anyways, we're going to be playing a video from Grunt Truck. You like Grunt Truck? Grunt Truck rocks. Grunt Truck rocks. Well, we'll play a video from Grunt Truck, and now we're going to go cleanse ourselves on the speed slide. Won't you come with us? Watch Grunt Truck. After that, we'll be auditioning singers now, so... Uh... I think we just lost our singer. After this commercial, just ride into MTV for a new singer for Allison Chains. I think he's, uh... No, he's up! He's up! He's up. He's up! Look, he's, he's moving and everything. Gotta love that man. He's, he's an animal. Later. guys from Allison Chains. We just encountered the speed slide, found out what it feels like to go 60 miles an hour down seven stories, and what did you think about the speed slide? I'm feeling kind of juicy right now. <laughs> it, um, it puts more uh, fluids through your system. That's an, <laughs> is, I'm trying to think of a nice way to say it. What would you say? I'd say my fig is puckered <laughs> right now. <gasps> we may be doing a lot of censoring on tonight's show, but then again, maybe not. Anyway, we're just about to play a video for Allison Chains. One thing I want to um, say is Last week, we spoke to you at Lollapalooza, and obviously, we've done tons of Headbangers Ball with you guys. And it seems like you're, like, always on the road. I mean, isn't it pretty much like that? Because just oh. before Lollapalooza, um, I saw you put... What, did I have a problem saying that? La Lollapalooza. You were uh, doing a little solo t tour in America for a while. Yeah, it's, it's just when you ask us to do Headbangers Ball that we're on tour. Maybe what it is is when we ask you to do the show, you have to go out on the road a couple months before. Right. And, and the thing I do appreciate is that we don't have to film in the studio. Last time we hooked up with you was New Orleans, and the time before that at somebody's mansion. That's right. That's right. Was that Hugh Hefner's mansion, or what was that? There was a lot of, there was there was, a lot of stains there was a on lot the carpet. Of celebrity barf marks. Is a, a, lot, a lot of barf marks. Sean put it. I was possessed by the ghost of Hugh Hefner while we were there. Really? It was real strange. I started getting attracted to Jerry and Mike and Sean. Uh, well, we'll play another video where you can see oh, hey, each out. and every one of your likenesses. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, is it scarier than his Speedos? None of these rides are as scary as those Speedos. I don't think anything is, Come on. Come except on. maybe this video. This is Allison Chains with Man on the Box.
Take a look around. This is most definitely not House of Style, and I am most definitely not Cindy Crawford. We're at Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey, this cool water park, and what is this called that we're gonna go down? The Garden Ride, 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 Ride River Ride. So we're gonna go down it, and uh, we'll see you. We'll have fun, watch videos. Right now, we're going to go over to the uh, auto racing and some gladiator stuff where we can beat up morons that look like these guys. Stay tuned. More Headbangers Ball. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Action Park Jungle Warrior Challenge for our next sumo wrestling match between... Jerry Cattrall from Alice in Chains and Ricky Rockman of MTV. Guys, let's get your helmet on and get you ready to go. Jerry, got any last words before you put that helmet on? I'm gonna rip his sack off. Ricky, you want to step up here? You got any last words with that helmet on? I feel like I'm in green jelly. Okay, we're about ready to start the match. Ricky and Jerry, remember the rules. First one to go down twice loses. No rule, says Ricky. On three here at Action Park Jungle Warrior Challenge. One, two, three. Big charge by Ricky and Jerry. Jerry slams into Ricky, and Ricky's going down. And Jerry wins the first round. Hop up there, Jerry. Jerry, our first round. Ricky, get back up. Come on, Ricky. Ah, scrape yourself off the floor. All right, Ricky, I want you to realize something now. All the pressure is on you. Do you want to go three out of five, Jerry? Can you go three out of five, Jerry? <laughs> Unless you win the next one. Okay, Ricky and Jerry, on three. One, two, three. Jerry, a big run at Ricky. Ricky misses, and down he goes. And Ricky with a big miss. And that's two losses for you, Ricky. Yep, back up there. Okay, Ricky, you still want to go three out of five? Three out of five, says Ricky. All right, Ricky. Let Rick, Rick, you all right? You tired? You still there? Everything's still okay? You still know where you are? You're still, he's over there. Okay, Ricky, your last chance. Let's tighten up this chin strap a little bit here. Just so you all know, he's from Seattle. I was letting him win those two. This time, no prisoners. Okay, Ricky, this is it. Your last chance. You lose this one. You get swept, shut out. Goodbye. Go home. Okay, Ricky and Jerry, last chance. One, two, three. Jerry, a big slam of the Ricky. Oh, look at it. Down goes Ricky. And Jerry from Allison Chase is our winner. Jerry, the winner of our celebrity sumo wrestling challenge at the Jungle Warrior Challenge here at Action Park. And Jerry doing a little celebr celebration dance. <laughs> Ricky's dead. We have to scrape him back off the floor. Ricky, you want the mic? Ricky, uh-oh. Ricky, big splash on Jerry. Jerry, uh, Ricky, the big splash on the Jerry. And somebody get a spatula. We have to scrape Jerry off the mat. Hop back up here, Ricky. <laughs> somebody grab Ricky's arm there. Let's scrape up. And here we go. You want this?
Ricky, Jerry, shake hands. It was a good match. Uh oh, Ricky looking for the sucker move on Jerry. Throws him into the ropes. Little after action going here. Jerry and Ricky going out. I'm gonna get sent down. Goes Ricky again. Ricky goes down again. And Jerry wins again even after the match. Ricky tries the sucker move. And it still doesn't work, Ricky. Ricky. Ricky, you alive? All right, Ricky's alive. I say we call it a draw. I say I whooped some butt. I say, uh, <laughs> he whooped my butt. I'll go home and defeat, and you'll watch more videos. Bangers Ball on location at Action Park doing the sumo, sumo wrestling thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just humiliated. If you just tuned in, I lost three to two against this guy over here. Jerry Cantrell. Was it a tough fight? It was a tough fight. You fought fair, but I still kicked some butt. Three to two. It was a close fight, and um, we'll, tr we'll try to find some other competition I, uh, that takes I, skill. Actually, I think that was three to nothing. Actually, it was four to nothing. It was four to nothing. <laughs> it was four to nothing. Well, we had fun, and uh, we're going to be playing a video. So what other kind of stuff do you do other than practice sumo wrestling all the time when you're on the road? Whatever I can to keep myself occupied. And obviously, whatever you can do to keep yourself in shape. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm going on the, uh, the Jenny Jones. Don't do You can't be grabbing that stuff on MTV. I'm, uh, I'm going on the uh, Slim Fast plan and uh, planning on losing a little weight. I've uh, porked up a little since the last tour. What do you think, girls? Does this, does this look work? Does it matter if you win or lose? It looks good. I like... See that? Because whatever I've been doing hasn't been working in the past. So I'm going to keep this thing on, and uh, we're going to be playing a video from Alice in Chains. Tell me about this song. Give an answer that you've never given when people ask you about this song. Well, which song are you talking about? Rooster, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Rooster, it, it means a lot to me. It's actually not an easy video to go into when we're dressed like this, because it is a serious video, right? Yeah, but, uh, I mean, it's just kind of something that uh, brought my father and me together. You know, it was kind of cool to do, and uh, something that we needed to get worked out, and through the song it did, so check it out. And will he still talk to you after he sees you dressed like this? I don't know about that. Pops might disown me. Okay, well, we'll play Rooster right now from Alice in Chains, and I'll get out of this suit and find something that I could win at. The thrill, the exhilaration, the enema. You gotta love it. We're going to a commercial. Seven seven three nine five nine zero. Ricky Rackman here with Alice in Chains. We're at Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey, and we have done just about half of the things that you can do in this whole place. He just uh, hit the cameraman right in the uh, ding-dongler as he is casting, but if we had a blast today. We had a good time. Uh, I should let you know that I studied in Japan. I, I that noticed I that. For it, but. And I do, and I still was pretty much humiliated, but we got to do a lot. I want to thank uh, Robert Bixson, from a really good guy from Action Park that took us out. Did we have a good time? Here, come in here. Just show your mug on TV. He doesn't want to show his mug on TV. And, and actually, if you saw what he looks like, you might not come to the park. But we had a blast. We had a lot of fun. I want to thank everybody here because it was a blast. We uh, broke a couple rafts. We, <laughs> we uh, hit the cameraman with the hooks. And um, this is just the normal kind of things that we do with Alice in Chains, right? Absolutely. Average every day. Oh, uh, ditto. Whatever. Yeah, I go with him. So we had fun. We're going to uh, leave Action Park, and we're going to be back with more Headbangers Ball from a barbecue that these guys are having, and there will be food there, right? I think so, yeah. So. What are barbecues about? Actually, you'd be surprised at some of the barbecues that I go to. Anyway, we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball as we leave Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey. We recommend it. We had a really good time here. Stay tuned for more Headbangers Ball with Alex and Chains. pretty apparent after we wrote with him for the Schwarzenegger stuff you know he fit in great live and he's really cool but it takes you know 
to take some time to see if you can ride together. Because you guys are also like in a family, and then to have somebody new come in. It's kind of strange, you know, it, it was kind of strange at first, I, I say. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> I was, I was, no, I was talking to... Uh, but, but, but to finish it, you know, he, he's, a, he's a great bass player and he's a great guy. Uh, that's why we, we, we pretty much didn't think of anybody else except for him. Yeah, I was talking to Mike in the bus earlier and he was just like, man, I'm so happy with this guy. It's like, you know, it's a, it's a band and I really like hanging with these guys and some of the stuff that just... I mean, he just... He's having a good time. Yeah, we, and we are too. It's, it's really cool. We're having a great time. You know? And yeah. uh, the music that... The songs that we wrote, uh, a little bitter uh, on the Schwarzenegger flick. That's that was kind of more Mike's idea than anybody else's, I'd say probably. We kind of all worked on it together, but he came up with a bass line, so it was, he really inspired that song. And that was kind of cool. So and as far as as far as we're concerned, he, he's there, you know. Now, when this Lollapalooza stuff is done, are you going to start working on something new? I got to ask you the questions that I have to ask you now. The normal stuff. It's hard. You got to get serious, like, for a little bit and ask the regular question. Let's knock out. Here's the regular question. Let's get it out of the way. We'll have more fun. Knock out the rock talk. Um, this will probably be the last tour we do. So we won't be touring much anymore, probably after this, until we do something new. And The la last tour you do off this record. Right. And um, I don't know exactly. It, it, you know, we could get a bug up our butt and totally go in and, and knock something out before the end of the year. Or we could wait till spring or something like that. Um, I, I would definitely say that there'll probably be some, some kind of maybe maybe another EP type thing happening between the next record. It's kind of like we always have done, you know, just to goof around and have fun. So. Right on. Well, we'll let you get back to the kind of. It wasn't. This isn't even an after show party. This is like an after relaxation fun party day party. I'm so worn out from sumo <laughs> wrestling, with Ricky man. He totally just... Rematch. The big yeah, rematch. But how do you yeah. practice for that kind you of stuff? Practice. You just eat a lot. You gotta and go for it. There'll be more headbangers, Bob. But right now, we're going to be playing a video from Alice in Chains. What video are we playing? We die on? Version 2. How is that different from version 1? Uh, well, version 1 was, was done by uh, this, the Art Institute in Seattle. Uh, and actually, that was something we didn't want released, but ended up getting released. So here it is. There you go. my friend so tell me uh the two songs that are on the uh, last action hero soundtrack how did that whole thing come about we're asking the generic rock and roll questions now oh. we did that earlier we put jerry we put jerry through that we've done all the fun stuff now it's generic rock and roll questions for you so it's my turn to just kind of bang my head so kind to say of, kind of you're going to be the generic band rock cool. band answering guy taking a, taking a number dump two. dump you can say dump He's taking a dump and a and a and a, and a, and a, a caiman came up and bit him on the butt. And that's how we got into it. Yeah, small alligator or a caiman. And I was thinking, hey, whose is this? And then Arnie busts in. I go, Arnie. I hope it's not yours. And so he starts, you know, getting in my face. I guess he didn't know who I was. You know. You set him straight. Yeah, you know it. I took him apart. He's a crapper. And if you're out there, buddy, I'll go again. Because Arnold does watch Anytime. the show. See that? Ask the generic question, you get a generic answer. Exactly. And we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball with Alice in Chains. <laughs> ah! Ah! You guys were in the studio doing the uh, last action hero stuff. This is another generic rock and roll question. Could you tell a big difference having this guy in the studio now? No, not really. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice in it. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, I don't want to be in this band, and they won't let me quit. These guys are crazy, man, and, and they're holding my... They're crazy, man. You're contractually obligated, so uh, stick with it, big guy. holding my family hostage back in L.A., so, you know. What, what I, I, do? I heard... I heard you talking earlier, though, and you've been having a lot of fun playing with this band. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, 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 uh... It's too bad that this is your last show. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we met, uh... You bring in the cake. This whole, party is, this whole party is for Mike's final show, because I learned how to play that four-string thing. Uh, a question that is really important, because I know you are such a big fan. Any uh, real early Stanley Cup predictions? Uh, Kings. Kings, but they're uh, talking about getting rid of Marty McSorley, which I'm Marty told me that. Marty told me that. I'm really bummed out about that, but 
So whichever team Marty goes to is going to be our favorite team. Yeah, it's, it's funny because my base tech, uh, my ex base tech used to be a, Mo a Montreal Canadian fan, so. Are you completely lost on this hockey talk? Screw hockey. This is rock and roll. Hey. Rock and roll, sporto. <laughs> well, once again, thanks. Well, I, I thank you all the time. It was fun. Anyways, um, since you won't be in the band very long, I'll talk to these guys. No, I'm kidding, Mike. Come back here. We had a good time. I want to thank these guys, thank the rest of their band, but they're busy doing crazy stuff like, look, throwing food in a pool. That's just sick. Guys, let me tell you something. Alice and Chains are nutty guys. What other nutty things have you been doing? We threw um, a bag of mixed nuts in the pool. Or no, you didn't. <laughs> Nuttier than that. Oh, my God. Pretty soon, pistachios with, with the shells. It, get, it doesn't get any crazier than this. That's it. I was hanging with Alice and Chains. Had a blast. Again, thank you. And uh, if Lollapalooza hits your town, I suggest going to see it. And I'm sure you've already got the Alice in Chains record. Because these guys are filthy rich right now because all of you bought the record. I mean, look at these That's clothes. Good to know. <laughs> That's nice. To I know. just had to tell them that they're filthy. Okay. Would you believe that they're filthy? How about that? I'd believe that. Okay. We'll be back with a little bit of more Headbangers Ball. That's it for tonight's show. I had a blast. I'm totally exhausted. Want to thank Alice in Chains. I want to thank Susan Silver and Kevin and Mary, all the people that work with Alice in Chains and their label, and the people at Action Park. We had a blast today, and I look pretty exhausted because all the stuff that you saw in about three hours was about nine hours nonstop for us. And uh, we've done a lot of shows in the time that I've been with the Headbangers Ball with Alice in Chains, and every time we do shows with them, we uh, never know what to expect, <laughs> as obvious as some of the stuff that you saw and some of the stuff that you didn't see. And uh, we always have a real good time. So I want to thank you for watching and thank everybody for uh, making this show possible. And tomorrow, if you're not doing anything, come by the Limelight in New York City because I'll be there with my band battery. For Remember to keep one foot in the gutter, one fist in the gold, and we'll see you next Saturday on the Headbangers Ball. Bye!